let's take another look at some uses for the puppet warp tool here and we're just going to use it for retouching we've got a little bit of a symmetry issue over here square shoulder kind of slope down here uh, the eyebrow uh, up over here not so much here and then the mouth I think we can just I think we can just kind of balance that a little bit more too all right so let's press command or control J to duplicate the background layer so we have a copy to work with come up here to the edit menu down to puppet warp and remember it's about locking down if I drop a point and I just click and drag it doesn't work if I drop the point over here and come back to this one and just click and drag it. It's just rotating. So I've got to start to lock things down here. And I know I don't want the middle to move. So I'm going to put some points uh, all throughout the middle here because I want to maintain as much symmetry as possible. Maybe on the ears and one right up here in the forehead. All right. So now I've locked all these different things down. So when I come back down here to the shoulder, now I can, I can kind of just twist that upward a little bit and I'm not moving any other part of the photo. Okay. And we can come in here. You could try, you could try to mold this and shape this to get it perfect. Honestly, I think we'll wind up just cropping it out at the bottom here, but at least we have a little bit more symmetry when it comes to the way the the shoulders slope down. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit and let's work on the eye now. Okay. So this eyebrow is up. This one's not. So let's, let's pull this eyebrow up. If I just, I'm going to drop a point here. And if I drop a point over here, and if I just start to drag up, I'm not only dragging the eyebrow up, but I'm also dragging the space between this point and this point up. So I'm going to press Command or Control Z to undo. And I'm going to add a point right between the two. And so this is actually a good example. It's not letting me do it because it's too close to the existing pin. So what I can do if that happens, if I want to put two pins closer together, I can come up here to the density setting and put more points. And you're going to watch the little triangles, they get smaller. All right. So now I have a smaller density. I can come in there and I can click and I can add a point. So now when I start to drag this up, now it really is just pulling it up and it's not pulling the actual eye upward. And if it's hard to do with your mouse, it's kind of hard to fine tune and control. You can use your arrow keys. I'm using my up arrow key just to nudge that just a little bit, kind of a little bit more there. All right. And this eye is opened a little bit more than this one. So we can actually click on this point and see if we can just, I'm just again using my up arrow key, pulling it up. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to, I don't want to distort the eye. All right. I think that's looking okay. And then we'll come down here. Let's work on the mouth. We've got one in the middle. I'm going to put one on the end over here. I'm going to put one on the end right over here. And if I, if I start to move this, you're going to notice I start to move half of the mouth, which isn't really what I want to do. So I'm going to add one more point and I can do that because I've, I've changed my density. I wouldn't be able to do this before because I, I actually tried it, uh, but I can do it because I changed my density and just use my up arrow key. And just see if we can just kind of curl that up a little bit. Okay, nothing too crazy. I just want to add a little bit more symmetry on the mouth there. All right, so let's back out, hit enter or return, and that commit your changes. And uh, let's take a look here. So that's before, and that's after. We'll take our crop tool, come in here, and maybe just crop there. So now we have a little bit more symmetry when it comes to the shoulders. Everything squared off a little bit more. Again, here's before. Here's after. So you can see the eyebrows pulled up. We kind of increased the size of the eye a little bit. All right. We've got the mouth. I, I could probably even take that side of the mouth and, and do a little bit more if I wanted to, if I was going to come in here and do it again. Um, but just, you know, kind of a different take on what you can use the tool for. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, does this remove the need for liquify? Honestly, I still really like liquify. It's, it's right under here to the filter menu and you can use this for a lot of different things when it comes to retouching as well. I still really like liquify uh, for certain things though. I think the puppet tool works pretty good at being able to come in here and control certain areas of the image while locking down other areas. All right. So uh, there you have a couple, a couple lessons on the puppet tool. Again, I mentioned it in the last video. It's kind of a weird tool. It's probably not something you're going to use every day, but it is one of those things that when you do need it, it'll come in pretty handy.